Senior and Mr. Trump Senior Advisor, Lieutenant General Michael Flynn. General, great to have you back on the show tonight. All right. Hey, thanks you for having me, Justin. Thanks for having me. Appreciate uh, it. All right, General. It's so good to have you back. Uh, listen, I want to. I want to. Uh, I'm sure you heard what we just talked about. Donald Trump being rushed off the stage. Yeah. Uh, the left is at it again. You know, they're so tolerant, and yet they make sure that they. Uh, yeah, let the me one. just say something. Let me say something about that, Justice, because I'll tell you what. The Secret Service would not want to have him come back up on the stage, honestly, after something like that. I, I know that. Right. And I know that with the guys that are around him because they, they, they deeply, you know, they respect him, they love him, and they would not want him to come up after an incident like that. Right. So that just shows you that the, the resilience, the toughness, the leader that we have in Donald Trump to get back up on that stage and continue to get his message across to the American public at such a critical time. I mean, something like that is not, a, is not a minor incident. This is a big, big deal. The Secret Service would not want him to come back up, and that shows you his, his toughness and his, yeah. his, his desire to not, you know, be, be pushed, pushed he's down not like these, some of these off. people are doing. General, exactly. he's not backing off. All right, I exactly. wanna, there's no doubt about it, but I want to ask you a couple things. Look, you were appointed by President Barack Obama as the... Twice. Uh, d twice. Director of uh, 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 National Intelligence Agency, uh, as well as, uh, what's the other agency? Well, the Defense Intelligence Agency and also as the uh, Assistant Director for National Intelligence. So okay, so at some point there is a separation of ways and it pretty much is right after Obama says that ISIS is the JV team. The following yeah. month you come out and you say to Congress, you know, they are going to be one of the most dangerous uh, terrorist organizations and the marriage is over at that point. Yes? Yeah, I mean, they, ISIS, ISIS, you know, as we've seen, they have been expanding ever since we unplugged out of Iraq in 2011. When, you, when we achieved victory uh, through, really up, to, up through 2011, and then this president and Hillary Clinton as the Secretary of State who could not, you know, cut the deal at that time with, with Iraq, right. and we decided to unplug, it left such a vacuum and it created the rise of ISIS. And we're in the middle of it right now. And ISIS, you know, as it stands today, is in about 32 countries, probably more than that. They have already threatened our election, and they're talking about conducting attacks in this country, possibly in, in I think it's two or three All states right. right now. All right. So this now, is crazy. All of this happens under Obama and under Hillary, and Hillary's going to continue the Obama policies. Yeah. But Hillary says the one thing she's going to do now is she's going she's to have an intelligence surge. That's her way to fight ISIS now. What do you think of that? Yeah, I mean, I don't know what that means. I mean, here's what it really comes down to, and, and frankly, we, Hillary Clinton, and I can tell you that the, the one thing, you know, rather than really talking about her, what Donald Trump would bring to the, our foreign policy and our foreign partners, our allies and friends around the world, is a much stronger relationship. I, I'm telling you, uh, Judge, that I have spoken to many leaders around the world, both in Asia, in the Asia Pacific Theater, as well as in the Middle East and Europe. And they all look forward to, to uh, working with Donald Trump because they just do not trust Hillary Clinton and they do not see her for somebody who is trustworthy. I'm sorry, that's just the way it is. Mm -hmm. And with respect to Donald Trump, I mean, they see him as a guy, what? Why do they see Donald Trump? Well, because he, he's very straightforward. He, he, you know, what you see is what you get. He, he is somebody who is honest when he comes to you know, to dealing with, with, uh, with leaders. I mean, he is, a, he is a leader that they can respect. He is someone who has gained an awful lot of respect in the, in the, uh, in the year and a half that he's been involved in, uh, in this political, you know, campaign that he's been a part of. And I think what they see is they see somebody who demonstrates extraordinary leadership skills who they, actually, they're going to be looking up to and they're going to be looking forward to working with the United States of America, where we have dumped we have dumped allies and friends under this administration to include Hillary Clinton All around right. the world, and they have no idea, Judge, what our current situation, you know, yep. what we are. They're so Where uncertain about stand. our policies and, and what we stand for. All right, General Michael Flynn, thanks so much for being with us tonight. And Governor Mike Hudson.